Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in this video, I am going to be teaching you guys how to make an RPG scrolling game. It is quite a complex subject, but I simplified it a lot. Anyways, let's get started. First, you want to create two sprites. Let's name one the player, and one the background, or just, yeah, background. Yeah, now, let's create a player. I am going to select my player to be um, orange. So now let's make my player like a square. So all you have to do for that is shift and draw your square. And I don't want any outlines and you can design your player how, however you want. It's your choice. Make sure that the player is centered at 0, 0. Yay, now let's create a background. Let's make the color um, red. Convert to bitmap and click um, click on the paintbrush or the fill thing and um, yeah fill it in. Now just put the x and y coordinates zero two so it's centered and it's at the middle. Let's make the player go to um, front layer so it's on top of the background. Switch costume to one, show, and go to front layer. So yeah, here you can see the player is in the front layer. Now we're going to be doing all the code in the background. Once again, I repeat, we're going to do everything in the background. So let's delete my variable because it's unnecessary. Let's uh, make two variables, x, scroll x and scroll y. And make sure they're for all sprites. And let's say, now let's do the code for the moving. So let's say, um, I guess we just have to say one click wherever set x to and set y to and as you guessed we have to do set x to scroll x and set y to scroll y so now we've defined what scroll x and scroll y are um, so it won't really do anything because um, we haven't really given any movement code but let's do the movements now let's say forever if and let's write all the, um, let's duplicate this three more times. Here. Now, let's put all the arrow keys in here. Key right arrow press, or key up arrow, key down arrow, um, key right arrow, key left arrow. Okay, now, let's do the movement. So, um, Let's set scroll x and scroll y to 0 when we begin, so it's at the center. And let's stop the code, and let's say um, change, if up arrow key pressed, we need to uh, change scroll y by like 3. And down arrow is of course the opposite, so it will be negative 3. Let's duplicate this and change scroll x by um, negative 3 for left, and change scroll x by 3 for right arrow key. Yay. Now let's test this out. So as you guys can see, when I press the right arrow key, it moves to the left. I mean, uh, yeah, to the left. And when I put, press the left arrow key, it moves to the right. So there's a simple fix to that. Just go to the operations block and take two of the times blocks or multiplication and do times negative one. This should make it go to the opposite direction. So scroll x times negative one and scroll y times negative one. Yay. Now we can move around. Yay. So to fill this white space in, all we have to do is put a background color. So for this, I think I'm just going to create blue. So if you're making like Zomzurel or something, you can just uh, follow the same thing. And yay. I might make this a lighter shade. I think this is good. Yeah, yeah. So um, as you can see now, we can move like into the backdrop, which is kind of weird. And we want it to stop when we touch like the end of the background. So that there's um, an easy way to do that. So all we have to say is if, so this is scroll X right now, we're moving left and right. So if scroll X is greater than, scroll X is greater than, um, negative 183 we just have to set scroll x to 20, uh, negative 183 so that just makes it stay there you can't go past it 
wait, um, negative. Wait, wait, sorry, it's the opposite way. When clicked, wherever. Yeah. Yeah, so it's actually the opposite way. So if scroll X is less than negative 83, 183, then uh, it just like when you press on the left arrow key, you can't move it anymore. Okay, now let's do it for um, this place. So let's see if scroll Y is, um, so scroll Y is negative 129. So just say, 129, negative 129, and set scroll y to negative 129. So it, sh it should make us fix that position. And as you can see, it works. We just have two more arrow keys to go. And this is scroll x. And um, wait. Okay, so the position is 195. So if it's greater than 195, then set scroll x to 195. So let's test it out. T test it out, and we can't move anymore. And we just have one more uh, thing, one more side. So this is scroll Y, and um, if scroll Y is greater than 123, then set scroll Y to 123. So this is the code for the boundaries. So we can't like uh, go past the boundaries, which is kind of cool. So if you want to make like a big game and you think the background is pretty small, all you have to do for that is um, create a uh, sprite, I mean a costume called um, dot and just make it a dot and just say call it dot. So uh, Scratch limits the size and there's an easy hack for that. So all you have to do is say set size to 200 right here. Let me make it uh, a different color so you can see it. Okay, so we can say like 300 and when we click back to the first costume, it becomes much bigger. So see, as you guys can see, I'm keep moving, I'm keep moving. But since I uh, kept a boundary there, I can't move past that. So since I already kept my boundaries, I am gonna remove this dot and just say set size to 100. So that's pretty good for me since I'm not really making a game, just a tutorial. In my Zombs Real game, I have made the boundaries bigger. And yeah. Okay, so if you want, you can add like objects. Like you can just add like a tree or, or like, um, I don't know, a bush. So this isn't going to be a very good bush because um, I'm not that good at art. But, uh, uh, and, um, and let's stop this from running and let's just make uh, a few like stuff let's just make a few circles to keep as a bush yeah <laughs> it looks pretty good okay so um we just have to create two um variables um x and just say x bush x bush and um make it for the sprite only and let's have a y bush and for the sprite only. And let's say when clicked, go to front layer. And um, let's say, um, let's say go to X, get the two minus symbols. So we're just gonna do, um, just put scroll X in the second blank and scroll Y in the second blank too. And um, let's do X push minus scroll X. So this is positioning, like where we want the um, coin or the, I mean, the bush to be. So let's say, um, let's make it go to like some random position. Or first we need to um, make it in a forever loop so it runs forever. Okay. So right now it's at zero, um, like it's just, in a, uh, it's actually moving, but uh, it's not like it's in a standard position right now. So um, let's see. So the problem right now is um, like if we touch the edge, 
deeper. Like if you, it, um, if you had a boundary, it, it starts like coming with you. So let me just remove the boundaries for now. Like I don't need this for now because I just want to explain what I mean. Okay, so um, usually the boundaries start coming with you. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah, it came. Yeah, for some reason it didn't come for that. Oh yeah, it's right here. Sorry, my recording bar was like blocking that. So yeah, it comes with the boundaries and we don't really want that. So there's an easy fix to that. All we have to say is if touching edge, then we want it to hide, else we want it to show. Hide, else show. And now um, let's run this again. And yeah, it disappears. But when we come back, it shows. So if you want to set the position like somewhere else, just um, say set X bush to set Y bush to like, I don't know, like 12, 12 or something. And um, it should change. What about like 100, 100? That should make it, yeah. So um, the position changes. And I'll just, I guess I'll just put the boundaries code box so like we can't go past the boundaries. So yeah, that was my tutorial. And um, of course you can add coins. And I think my um, next tutorial is gonna be how to add coins. And you can hide all of these variables. And oh yeah, one last thing. So your scroll X and scroll Y might be a bit different. I mean like the boundaries because um, if you're if your um, uh, square is bigger, then you may have to like adjust the scroll y, scroll x, and scroll y for the boundaries. That's pretty simple. You just have to like look at the um, like look at the end, and then uh, say like if scroll x is less than negative one eighty three, um, uh, set scroll x to negative one eighty three. Yeah, that's pretty simple. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you learned something from this tutorial. And yeah, let me just make this go to like friendlier. Yeah, now it's um, in front of the bush. So yeah, that was my tutorial for today. And if you like this um, tutorial, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and watch some of my other videos. Thank you guys. Bye.